Good morning, church. I would like to share a short testimony on the power of forgiveness and asking the Lord of what we desire in faith. In 2014, after my son's birth, I was blessed with a new job after being unemployed for two years. The job required me to travel a fair bit, mainly to Africa. The project in Africa was challenging at so many levels. The people I dealt with were high-ranking government officials and they had many demands causing the project to face many stumbling blocks. This caused me to feel extreme fatigue as I had to travel so frequently, uh, long-haul flights, not having enough rest, pressure from my employer about the lack of success of the business, which had nothing to do with me but rather the corrupt government officials that I was dealing with. Though my employer showed me kindness in many ways, like paying for our home, providing us with a car, and paying for our holiday trips, yet his expectations to match these privileges was too high for me to meet. This started affecting our family life as I, as I was away most of the time. In May 21st, 2019, on my birthday last year, he forced me to travel to Africa and refused to compromise when I said no. He then started speaking badly about me to my colleagues and this made me upset. And, you know, I had been secretly harboring anger towards him and unforgiveness uh, for the way he had treated me. When I said no to him, this set in motion something that would see the hand of God move on my behalf. My anger towards him turned to bitterness and I started murmuring and complaining. I was at a very dark place and I didn't see a way out. How was God going to come through for us? I had been asking God for a new job for the longest time, but it was not happening. Now, on Melvin's birthday, during that time, um, at the peak of him feeling the worst about this whole situation, I just told my husband and encouraged him, why don't we start blessing your boss instead of murmuring and complaining about him? No matter how hard it may be for us, to do that, we are going to start blessing Him and praising God for Him in our life. And we turned our murmuring into a blessing. We started praying for His boss, for God to prosper His business and also for the boss's salvation. And the moment we started doing this, the Lord completely turned our whole outlook towards uh, Melvin's boss. And lo and behold, within a month of us doing this, uh, the change of attitude, a small door opened and Melvin actually received a call from a close friend of his who was in the satellite industry. And the friend actually told him, hey, uh, can you please send in your CV? Because there's a potential job opening in a German telco company. And uh, he immediately worked on his CV and he sent it in. And they called him up conducted an interview over the telephone and uh, what was amazing is that they gave him the offer and the package was two times higher than his current earnings and um, and all the other benefits that came along with it and um, he made the move. God gave us enough to pay for our own home, for a car and even expenditures that we never thought that we could have came our way and uh, there was more than enough to cover those expenditures and there was no shortage. So the job not only gave us more than enough financially, but I was allowed to work from home as well, which, is, you know, which has been my heart's desire. So during the MCO period, the Lord continued to open more doors. And you know, we are so blessed because two other companies from the US and Hong Kong called me up and offered me positions in their, in their organization. So I'm just so amazed at the goodness of, of my God, of my Jesus, because, you know, when I, when I started releasing blessing and forgiveness, and that's when God really started to move. And I really thank Him for our circumstance. And uh, today we are so blessed and we just wanted to share this message with, with, with you guys so that you too will be blessed in knowing that how God can turn a situation around and just by, by you looking to Him 
and trusting Him fully. And turning our murmuring into, into praises. And praising. Into praises for Him and forgiveness for the people who have offended us. So we want to give all glory and thanks. In Jesus' wonderful name, thank you, Church.